गाइस वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल वे वी टॉक ऑल अबाउट गेट एग्जाम वेलकम बैक एंड एज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द न्यूली इंट्रोड्यूस्ड प्रोग्राम एट आईआईटी बॉम्बे एमएस बाय द सर्च इट इज प्रोवाइडेड बाय द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग फॉर दिस ईयर फॉर द कमिंग 2020 सेशन we have discussed in detail of all the basic details which are needed to know about this program in the previous video but now is the time to get into the core details which are very important for one to understand that what they are going to go through for the coming two years because it's a newly introduced program and also there is a lot of myth about ms programs so as we have understood so far that this program is actually intended to generate such human resources who are trained to perform or carry out the high end research work but those that high end research work involves a lot of stuff what is going to be your research areas what is your specialization and what what is the breadth of your research or what is the depth of your research okay two things we are going to discuss are the cse ms specialization what all areas are going to be part of your specializations where you can specialize yourself basically next is ms to phd conversion is it possible to convert from ms to phd definitely yes it is 100% possible see actually this program is very important i mean it's not only for those who have research bent of mind this program is good for them to join who who actually have interest towards the rnd but who are not very sure enough that they their interest is that much that they can commit to phd at first step so they can join ms they can realize what their interest are and how the research process is am i comfortable am i actually willing to pursue as phd if yes then they can change over to phd by following the process and of course they are supposed to have a certain eligibility criteria like having certain amount of credits and this much cgpi uh, spi or cgpi for converting it but yes it's very much possible so actually ms for research many times serves as a first step for many students who actually turn up to be a phd scholars okay the next thing faculty advisory system what is faculty advisory system it's very important not only for an ms student to know i mean somebody who is aspiring to pursue the ms program but also all for all those who are aspiring to have a masters degree from iits or iisc so faculty advisory system is something which is your support system being in a institute like iits so basically uh, upon joining in institute uh, a master graduate is assigned a faculty advisor or group of faculty advisor they are your professors your department professors so uh, actually a student is supposed to you know consult each and everything with them like their in semester and semester academic performances the course work what courses they want to opt for elective courses what are likely to be you know in line with their research area so it's about somebody who will groom you from the very first day who will help you being a professor that your faculty advisor is in fact a student is supposed to select a ms thesis advisor and faculty advisor who knows you from the day one and who knows your interest and your performance and your capability he will be the right person to you know advise you on whom you should select as a ms thesis advisor here i want to mention for rap candidates who are going for the research area uh, research assistantship Uh, for them their project guide the project guide who will be the guide of their sponsored research project on which they will be working as rship he only will be their ms thesis advisor so now let's see what are the cse specialization here i'm going to answer three questions what are cse specializations for ms program second thing what does it actually imply what does it mean to have this specializations third thing when do you get to choose or you know select your specialization and how the selection of specialization is done okay before i move ahead and answer you anything let me tell you the three specializations available for the ms program so there are three specialization one is intelligent systems the other is computing systems and the other is theoretical systems these are the sub research areas under this okay sub topics so intelligent systems as a specialization covers artificial intelligence machine learning natural language processing computer vision image processing graphics etc 
the next computing systems it covers networks databases compilers operating system distributed system software engineering programming languages etc the third theoretical systems it covers algorithms covers complexity theory formal methods optimization techniques cryptography etc so i hope looking at this you are able to understand this this is nothing but the classification of related topics related areas for research or for teaching so this is a classification where the related areas have been put together and have been told that this is one is specialization this is one is specialization and this is one specialization so now i hope you understand the very first question that what are these specializations these are nothing but in the sub areas related sub areas which becomes a part of your teaching and your research work so whichever specialization you are selected for or you choose for you are intended to work in entire ms under that specialization so your course work your research work your thesis work everything will lie around that only you will not jump from here to here unless something to learn here is needed from here okay that's that again becomes part of it only so that and uh, another thing csc specialization is no way going to get mentioned on your degree or any other official document it is an internal structure it is something because you have seen or you must have seen or understood so far that uh, mostly in computer science nobody provides a specialization specifically it is you who choose your courses and your research work or your thesis or project work in such a manner that it ultimately specializes specializes yourself in a certain area like this right last let me answer you when do you get to choose or when a specialization is assigned to a student so during your admission test or interview round process like when you are called up for the interview and uh, written test rounds after the written test is over before the short listing of written test will be you know coming up you will be told about specializations and uh, it will be also told that you are supposed to give a preference list of your specializations you have to make a order which is your first preference which is your second which is your third so out of these three you have to make your preference order the most likely of course in the first number so based on that preference list you will be forwarded after selection of written test if it all you are shortlisted after the written test then you will be forwarded to the respective interview panel so there are going to be different different panels for different specialization and then you will be interviewed upon your specialization area of course they are not going to ask you about artificial intelligence or machine learning or high, you know high end topics they will ask the question from the basic concepts or the the basic subject that you have studied so far which relate to these high end areas okay so um, i mean it's very important to know these stuff and that is a actually reason why i am putting it up all here so that now on you can see that these are the three different areas in fact i mean it is not only for ms by research at iit bombay you go for mt by research at iisc bangalore they again provide you the detailed research areas classified areas and they ask you to choose one or two from that and upon that only your interview is based upon in fact when uh, iisc bangalore shortlist somebody shortlist uh, uh, candidates for interview and uh, written test round along with the shortlisting email they send these details that you are supposed to know them read about them go to the respective faculty pages and understand what are the dev different developments are happening in the department what are the projects running under these areas where do you find your interest look for it okay prepare your mind see you are applying for masters program you are planning to uh, pursue higher degree in, and that involves a specialization that involves a interest okay so that interest uh is not needed to be very fixed but it has to be centered around something you should have an idea i am so keen about the recent technology which is coming in terms of intelligence system or or else i am very good at basic uh, system subjects like i am master of database and i want to pursue higher the databases and i am a you know big fan of that faculty who has done these many projects 
about databases who is exploring the world like so i want to be uh, i want to make him my mentor something like that it's not in necessary for everyone to have exact the same blind way but certain idea is important which i have been keep on saying again and again in all my videos so lastly briefing everything together i hope this is understood that what is cse specialization these are the related areas confined to a particular classified you know name which says that this is if you if you get selected for this or if you choose for this specialization you are supposed to work under this area if you select to have intelligence system then you can have your courses and your research work and your seminars and your project work out of these okay this is what are the mean and how do you get to select upon your interview and written test process and every specialization have limited number of seats it's not that they have a large number of seats let's to understand what are the placement scenarios so placements talking about iit bombay computer science department of course nobody should doubt about it but still somebody might have question when are we going to sit in for the placement so yes a student is allowed to sit for placements in the december month of year 3 because it's a three year program somebody who is going to finish in the three years is allowed to sit in the december of the third year but as i told you that uh, you are allowed to graduate your master of science or ms program within 3 semester after 3 semesters also uh, of course after successful completion of your you know uh, research work your course works and once you have contributed outstandingly towards the research area then you are allowed to graduate in in after 3 semesters in fact it is in, encouraged by the department so uh, somebody who is like that is allowed to sit in the december of year 2 also okay but what happens is most of the students who were outstanding and who try to confine it to within 1.5 to 2 years they happen to uh, end their uh, entire work after the december of second year so they leave the part of i mean they miss the part of december they end up by the end of the second year so for that matter the department is and the institute iit bombay is in discussion of a spring session placement they are planning to have a special spring time uh, placement session for phd and ms graduates who all will finish in that year they will try to invite uh, best research labs and the companies who perform high end technical work they will be invited to you know employ or to uh, you know uh, provide employment to the these students so lastly i will conclude the video just by saying that i hope what intention i had to make this video is very much clear and is conveyed to you the way i wanted uh, cs is ms specializations you have got to know all the areas you can now on start understanding it more not only for iit bombay and not only for the ms program but for all the other places too one thing very important i want to mention again is that cs specialization is no one going to mention on your degree your degree will be known as ms by research in csc from iit bombay and i hope this was helpful and i really request you please do share the video with your friend it is really 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 important for everybody to know and understand these things see you very soon till then bye bye